all right so in this particular session we are going to learn how to get certified by google analytics academy now google has this analytics academy website where you get courses uh, for google analytics it's segmented into beginners and advanced you have these courses for power users you have courses for google analytics tag manager and data studio now these courses are really good in terms of giving you an introduction but uh, if you really would like to get a hands-on experience on how to use these tools you actually need to go through more advanced courses and practice it by yourself now in this particular session we are going to appear for google data studio uh, test and look at how we can clear the exam so let's get started so once you click on this uh, google data studio uh, icon over here you get, you have an option to register for the uh, for this particular uh, course now i have already registered so it's not showing me the reg the registration page in your case it will show you the registration page you just need to register and go through the course content it's a very short uh, course you can quickly finish it up in, in in a matter of one hour now once you go through all of these videos you'll be able to answer this assessment test but uh, for a quick introduction introduction to what kind of questions appear in this assessment test i'll quickly take you through the assessment one two and three and four so let's try to appear for this assessment and check if we can clear this exam today so uh, what assessment one what are the benefits of using google data studio uh, so primarily let's go through this uh, okay so it allows us to visualize your own data correct free of charge accessible on web connected uh, devices yes definitely access to additional attribution models uh, no we don't have attribution models additional attribution models in data studio all right so this is the right answer these three other other right options which are examples of data sets all right so google generated data such as google analytics definitely we connect google analytics with google data studio so this is a data set uh, a data source based on a csv file no we uh, do not have an option to uh, do this kind of integrations metrics and dimensions type directly into data studio no we cannot directly type in amazon sales data yes you can integrate amazon sales data with it no, with data studio so this would be the correct answer over here now let's move on to the third one uh, once you have connected your data in google uh, in data studio how often do you need to manually provide your data all right so this is a uh, permanent connection and you need to uh, connect it once you revoke the access so let's say you just remove the user access in that case only you need to reconnect it which type of components can be included in a report uh, all right you can include text for the headings images to indicate the in, indicate any particular uh, scenario charts definitely this is the code of your of your data studio report and templates okay there are no templates as such that you can uh, include in a report so yes all right so which uh, term refers to the underlying data that can be connected to data studio all right so this is pretty easy which term refers to underlying data that can be connected to a data studio so uh, it shall be data set data source data control data connection these are all the various processes to get uh, your data connected and it's it, it's it's asking about the underlying data so what kind of data all right so which access uh, permission would you provide to a co-worker to collaborate with them on a report now this is pretty easy if you would like to collaborate if you would like someone to make changes on your uh, report then definitely they shall be having the edit access uh, so can edit the report uh, to share your report with the, with the public uh, report via a public link so in case you would like to have the share access you need to use the owner's credential you need to be the owner of that uh, google data studio account uh, what is uh, the order in which data flow is pretty simple uh, so you start with data set all right so these two are the uh, first approvable uh, uh, shortlists data set and then you connect data source so obviously this is the right answer if you upload data uh, upload data from a csv file to create a data set in google cloud how can you update the data set in future all right this looks a little tricky uh all right if you upload data from a csv file to create all right so once you upload the csv file for the very first time and we try to upload a, a, a fresh upload the next time we just need to upload the new rows the, the the new additional data that's it so we don't need to upload all the data once again so upload a csv file with only the new rows of data would be the right answer over here uh which feature helps you create a re new report quickly it's again a simple simple question so templates are something that you can start with to quickly get a report so if you check it all the answers are are correct yes all the answers are correct so go ahead and clear your exam that's it we'll move on to uh, next 
topic navigate data studio so definitely go through all of these videos one by one i have already gone through it so i'll just simply move on to assessment and try to ap attempt this assessment all right so let's try to uh, appear for this assessment too uh, first question which action can you take on data studio home page all right so in the home page we can definitely create a new report we can share the report as well yes definitely edit it yes that is the core of uh, core of uh, connecting your google data studio with any data source so edit data source fields and connect to a data so yeah this is also a right answer edit data source is something that uh, would not be possible in the home page so connect to the data is all is the right uh, option over here so this three uh, which uh, is the best tool to quickly visualize data that answers a specific question without saving it or sharing it so uh, the best tool to quickly uh, visualize the data is explorer so this is where you get some quick uh, charts and uh, data visualizations to quickly have a look at your data uh, what can uh, you do with the explorer tool so uh, with the exploration tool we can uh, okay invite others to edit your exploration uh, so the question is what can you do with the explorer tool uh, okay export and exploration as a chart or any existing report uh, this is the right answer export and exploration as a chart okay you can do that uh, toggle between view and edit modes no automatically save all changes to expression no it do not get automatically saved we need to save it separately as a, as a as a separate report as a custom report invite others to view or edit no so what can you do with calculated fields all right so with the calculated field you can uh, create a metric or dimension using a mathematical yeah 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 this is the right answer change an existing fields aggregation no transform tables into no disable fields from the no what do you do the calculative yes Ca create a metric or dimension using a mathematical formula is the right answer over here next question what uh, can an individual viewing a report do right so let's see uh, hover over charts to see specific yeah we can do that uh, filter data yes definitely that's how we uh, get different views of the data uh, set a date range yes that's how we again change the time time range of that data view uh, make a page level component uh, no so this three are the right answer what is uh, the benefit of using the theme lab all right so uh, the theme lab primarily helps us to set uh, a standard color font and charting uh, charting behaviors charting visual formats so the ability to set consistent font and color would be the right answer over here this is this was very easy which a component must get their data from data source all right so this is uh so images no images we have to uh separately add bar charts yes uh, it has to get it from the data source uh scorecards yes embedded content and images something that we additionally added it's not dependent on the data source uh, in which ways can you manage an existing field all right so we can manage an existing field by uh display the count of unique field values yes you can do that uh, change the format of a data field we can do the formatting change and we can display the output of a customer th no we cannot do that and change the theme we can do that uh, we can change the themes as well uh, which uh, what what must the data source uh, uh, owner do to allow report editors uh, to modify data fields this is quite an interesting question uh, so enable field editing in, yes it is something what must the data source owner do to allow report editors to modify data fields enable a uh, field editing in reports user owners credential give x give edit access i'm a little confused over here but i'll go with enable field editing in reports because this is, if you're enabling it anyone can modify the data fields uh, which settings uh, make uh, makes your report larger all right uh, so if you want to make a larger report in that case you need more space on your report in that case you need to change the canvas size submit let's check all right so 100 uh, percent marks uh, again have a quick look at the answers all are correct answers so we'll move on to the next topic and let's try to attend assessment three so assessment three what is the purpose of extracting uh, data so why are we extracting uh, the data so uh, create robust data sources over no uh, maintain a live connection 
we don't need to extract data for that use connectors not available through it's totally irrelevant to the topic what is the purpose of extracting data so use a subset of your original data for faster yeah that is uh, the right answer so we are extracting a subset of our of our of, of of data from the overall data so that you can have a smaller sample uh, to to do our uh, charting quicker all right so uh, what does the refresh fields button in the data source do so uh, it, it reflect changes made to the data sets uh, schema what is unique about report level uh, component compared to a page level component so uh, report level components uh, appear in the same position on each yes 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 report level components appear in the same position on each page that's what uh, the report level components are for we want a standard component across all the report pages uh, what I what is one benefit of using blended data so the blended data is primarily when we are multi mixing up multiple data sets uh, the ability to combine data uh, from different time periods in one chart uh, okay what is the benefit of using blended data the, the ability to combine data from different time periods no the ability to visualize uh, data from multiple data sources in one yes this is the right answer multiple data sources not multiple time time periods this is the wrong one different time periods is the wrong one same data source uh, sorry multiple data source but the same uh, chart so multiple data sources one chart is the right answer what does a filter control allow viewers uh, to do this is pretty simple filter uh, select a different data no uh, filter report data based on one or more dimension yes 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 we just have an option to filter out the different types of uh, uh, dimensions uh, so we have an option to filter it out by let's say age the country the source whatever criteria you'd like to study and these are dimension values so we, so this filter control allows us to get different views of the data by by changing the dimensions or filtering out the dimensions that you are like we are interested to study so what do the theme tab settings uh, effect all reports in your account no theme is particular to one report all components in in the open report all components in the open page the selected component only uh, so theme is always uh, related to one report only so I'll, I'll go with this one all components in open report so just one report will get changed whenever you change the theme settings theme is particular to one report only uh, so all the reports can have multiple themes uh, uh, varied uh, different different types of themes uh, what can a single filter control uh, effect so a sing a single filter control can affect the charts scores group of components multiple dim no dimension multiple dimension using the filter you can just change dimensions uh, one by one so let's go with this what is required for a single chart uh, to reference data from two different data sources what is required for a single chart to reference data uh, from two different uh, data sources obviously we have to create a blended data source uh, w this was uh, this was uh, pretty easy it, it's, it's the fundamental definition if you practice google uh, google, and google data studio you'd be able to easily understand and answer this question uh, which sharing option always requires recipients to log in with their google account all right so uh, which sharing if you want to share you need to have an option to edit the file Wh what is the purpose of creating a thumbnail image of your report so definitely invite others no in order to invite someone you don't need a thumbnail image uh, give users with view or edit access a preview of your all oh, right so this is the one uh, this is the right answer it, it definitely the, the thumbnail gives a preview of what your report contains and allows users to understand all right so 100 percent again so all the answers are correct have a quick look at all the answers and try to understand what kind of questions appear in this assessment test all right so let, let's move on to the fourth assessment over here this is the final assessment that we have uh, for today uh, on this google uh, data studio so the first question which reflects a best practice for designing your report all right so let's go through it use only one report per page including much text annotation it's not mandatory to have one report per page use the first page as a high level overview 
uh, okay so this is this looks like the right answer because you need to have an have an executive summary of your report so the first page shall definitely have the summary of what this report is all about or what all data types or what all information is entailed in that particular report so a high level overview of the data is something that uh, can go in the first uh, page of the report uh, how can you use any data studio report as a template so all right so if you want to replicate a report simply make a copy of that report it's as simple as that so copy the report as new and select your data source simply copy the report so all the uh, design layout all the report layout would, would be same the template and then you change the data source as per your uh, required type of uh, data what is the purpose of a bullet chart all right um, so bullet chart is used whenever we are trying to compare something so let's say one bullet to other we can have a quick visualization of how we are differing so show the total of a single no if we were to show the total a column chart would be uh, something that would go well how well uh, see how well a metric is performing against a target yes we can compare it identify a correlation between data points yes this can also be a potential answer but we don't have correlation in data studio graphs Hi highlight a single critical metric no if you like to highlight something we can annotate something or, or use use some other kind of uh, graph but not necessarily a bullet chart so bullet chart is primarily the charts where we have uh, tiny dots against a particular uh, timeline or against a particular uh, data range so it helps us to compare so I'll go with the second one what is the purpose of templates uh, all right uh, the purpose of templates uh, what is the purpose of templates so uh, templates primarily helps us to uh, data source creation no data source creation is uh, is pretty much connecting or connecting your Google data studio dashboard to your data source quick start report creation yes template serves us to quickly start the report because we have a pre-built layout we just need to uh, connect the right data and select the right date range so quick start report creation with the right answer over here what is the purpose of a scatter plot all right so scatter plot is again uh, similar to bullet chart so scatter plot helps us to compare so let's look at the options uh, observe trend over time no for trends we have a line graph track performance against a target all right so this can also be one of the options identify relationship between variables and since we are talking about scatter plot we are looking at the different uh, the the, uh, the comparison between the different variables so identify relationship between two variables is something that you can uh, go with compare multiple parts of a whole no uh, let's submit the answer all right so again 100% all the questions are all the answers are correct so have a quick look at what kind of questions appear in the assessment form and that's it for this particular video we have uh, quickly gone through the four assessments of Google Data Studio and let's see how uh, the certification appears so I'll click on next and uh, it, it takes me to a survey form if I go with the survey I'll get my certificate let's go quickly and answer the survey sorry guys you, you have to read the uh, various components of the survey and answer it correctly for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna quickly mark all the options over here all right so once you're done with the survey you'll be able to see uh, your certificate in your profile so this is uh, how the, pro the how the certificate appears similarly go ahead and uh, clear all the other Google Analytics Academy certifications and you'll be able to see your certificate like this all right so that's it for this particular uh, session if you have any questions any doubts from any of the areas please let me know this certificate expires on uh, July 25, uh, 2025. So it, it it's for three years. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, have a great day ahead. Bye bye.